Hey everybody, Rodamon here. Thanks for tuning in to Frost and Fire. Last episode, we swapped crabs. I know, sounds weird, right? But uh, our old crab had some health conditions which made it very difficult to properly keep them active in the field because of cataracts and a bad back. Uh, Cauterize was not going to be able to do much hauling for us, so I bought a new one uh, with the hopes of training it so that I can run uh, summer hauling with a crab. Speaking of summer, at this point we can go ahead and turn off what remains of the heaters that are on and get some of these coolers on. I don't need all of them on. But enough to uh, keep the base temperate. We're also going to need to switch from winter clothing to summer clothing. And JD here, once you're done with that cataphract helmet, I'm going to have you make a circadian assistant and then and healing enhancers so that everyone uh, can heal nice and quick. Also, I guess while you're down here, switch your weapons out to not a sniper rifle. All right. Nice and dressed. Love it. So we're heading into the summer and I'm going to need to be prepared for the heat. We also have only a few hours left on the fearful structure up here. Uh, but unfortunately, we have a long time of terrible speech left, about six days left. Where we're going to suffer those consequences. We have a considerable amount of repair left to do. As you can see here, uh, Bash and Phoenix are getting it done. And then uh, over here, we have more mining. Trying to replenish our steel amount because we definitely brought the amount down considerably. I'm also going to place a turret out there as a uh, raider deterrent or sapper deterrent. I'll build the turret here though because it will be a little easier to build it there. All right, a masterwork cataphract helmet I'm going to give to Bash because with the EMP hammer that he has, he's most likely the candidate to get hit by a centipede. I'm going to change the meals around here. So I'm going to do up to 27 simple meals and then pause and unpause it, let's say seven so that we do larger batch meals uh raptor i would like you to try to inspire jd a shoot frenzy well oh, that's not bad at least it's not a surgery i've been stuck with a whole lot of surgeries when trying to inspire jd and they're not all that helpful So with that fearful structure done, I can break this down. Don't need it anymore. And the trade caravan is off with the old cauterize. I'm going to set my new cauterize to be inside all the time until it's trained up enough to go outside. No point in having it wandering about. been a bit of a short circuit fire oh I need to change the firefight priority there we go no real damage totally fine All right, let's hope for a good helmet 
and complete the mining. So this, hopefully, this single turret here, I doubt it will, but hopefully it will serve as a deterrent for sappers to be coming in through this door, which is a little bit easier to come in now that we've mined it through. We still need to do a lot of repair on that kill box. It's still pretty damaged. And replenishing that steel that we are, for all intents and purposes, addicted to. Instead of going deep drilling, I'm going to send the mining couple to prioritize hauling because there's a lot of steel out there now. And if we just hauled it better, uh, we would have access to it. I'm going to increase Bash's priorities for animal training so that Bash can help train Cauterize. Unfortunately, I'm taking uh, Leviathan meat into my inventory for that, which is not great. But that, that's the cost of training. Might be possible to just forbid the meat from here on out. Oh, it looks like we grabbed uh, rice anyway. Good. I don't want to trade train with with meat for obvious reasons, as it's a rare resource that I don't have a lot of. No wild animals right now on the map tile. Now I don't have all my coolers on, so I will have to uh, keep watch on the temperature. And there's a spare excellent helmet. That's great. Now JD is going to work on the circadian assistant, which I will install in JD so that JD can do more uh, crafting and, and whatnot. And then make all the healing assistance. A combat supplier. Oh, nice. It's possible I'll be able to uh, get more doomsday launchers or something like that. So let's see. Bash, once you're done training, please on roof. Nope, you're not doing that. Come on, buddy. And Raptor with the trade. Now, I don't think we're going to need specialized limbs. Drill arms and field hands are very strong. But with that said, there may be two specified for our uses we don't have a colony that really would benefit from something like that unfortunately looking at this trader uh there really isn't there's no doomsday launchers or anything like that that's kind of a bummer i will sell uh, a slightly damaged cataphract helmet I can make something better. Man, that's a bummer. I was really hoping for more Doomsday Launchers. It also reminds me I need to remove the roof on here in case I need to air send my Doomsday Launcher for any reason. If I have a roof over it, I won't be able to do that. Still about 900 steel left to haul. It's 
So the transport shuttle, I was hoping to be able to run gifts out to the Royals, the United Cities, but probably not right now, given the current ambient temperature. It's a bit too hot. whole lot of failed trade or training rather not too keen on that all right so we've started their circadian assistant almost done with this spare cataphract helmet and we have stockpiled about i don't know three four hundred steel so far Now that's mostly what Leth and Gabe are up to. Just replenishing those stockpiles. Brock's raid source. Ooh, it's not often that I get someone willing to join. A 46 year old hunter named uh, Sillard Block, uh, Brock, I don't know how to say that. It's like a Polish name, I think, is calling from nearby. If I accept him, his enemies will set up a site to harass me. It's guarded by seven. Will launch raids on me every 24 days. Uh, okay, Brock. We have a spare bed, so I guess so. Here he is. Uh, a... Okay, a jogging night owl who's psychically hypersensitive with uh, a leg scar, but that's not that big of a deal. All right, I took a big gamble and honestly, it, it worked out. I'm uh, very surprised. So, uh, taking a look, shooting is definitely what Brock is going to do more than melee. We have three brawlers already. And here's the raid source. Now, it's not a lot of Reapers that they're sending periodically. I'm not that concerned. Now, does anyone like you? You like Leth. Well, no, no kidding. Who doesn't? Alright, Brock is switching gear. Please wear pants. Uh, do I not have pants? That is a major oversight. <laughs> All right, let's see about that. Um, JD, would you make the fine man some pants? And then I'm also going to make some spare shirts, too. All right, let's set up work priorities. Not a terrible warden, not as skilled as Raptor, but then again, Raptor tends to absolutely epic fail these speeches, so that's fine. So Brock is just helping to haul for now. We still have a... Uh... A lot of repair to do as you can see this stuff down here hasn't even been touched yet and that's because we're still breaking down the monument and until we've broken down that monument uh, our guys will treat breaking down the monument as a higher priority than repairs 
All right, JD, let's get some shirts going. I didn't realize I was so low on clothing. This also might not be a terrible use for the chitin. So for the last one, I'm going to use it. See how we do. So it is a excellent quality shirt. If you take a look here, it is 48 sharp compared to the Gorilla Leather, which is 29 sharp. So uh, if someone like uh, Bash puts it on, sharp goes from 94 to 101, I think that was. Yeah. It's not insignificant. That not likely to be a super life or death difference but it's a difference it's a significant difference all right one thing that really needs to get repaired is the uh, this specific auto cannon turret and then the rest of the repairs we can sort of let them prioritize so i'll probably not be hitting this raid source until next temperate season I don't really, I'm not interested in like a heat stroke uh, caravan. That sounds really bad. And scan more steel. And inspired surgery. another cataphract helmet because we're we want a minimum of two we only have one right now cauterize how has your training gone uh nice two-thirds of guard already done that's not terrible progress. I'm not entirely sure that hauling uh, slag is going to be efficient for us. So I'm going to have Gabe and Leth not bother with that. And hopefully they'll haul steel or something more important. Nope, still hauling chunks. Well, if you're going to haul chunks, haul these three because they block us. Gotta say, Brock's fitting in. And uh, one other little reminder to you all that Brock, of course, will be renamed uh, after one of my patrons by next episode. I'll run a raffle to see who wins Brock. So, don't get used to his name. In fact, I'll do this. Unnamed. And that way, I can refer to him as unnamed. Or to be determined or something like that. Ooh, an eclipse. I think my power grid should be able to handle an eclipse. Yeah, we're still on positive power. The, uh, the wind turbines... Plus, the geothermals and the unstable power uh, can handle it. Even with all these uh, power guzzlers, like, how many lights do I have? 76 lights. So, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of power. When you consider... 30 watts. Each. All right, so the circadian assistant is in. 
now we're gonna do healing enhancers. Uh, but uh, it also occurs to me that I need one more healing enhancer now. Uh, in fact, I would say the most important thing for us to do is probably a bionic leg before anything else. Uh, for unnamed's left leg uh, to be replaced. And then eventually right leg too, right? Because that's, we are prioritizing movement speed. Uh, but JD, oh, it's only, yeah, I keep thinking it's nighttime. It's only 2, 2 p.m. because of the, because uh, of the eclipse. So I do want to install that uh, assistant, circadian assistant in JD when he goes to sleep. Now, the new guy. Why is your mood so bad? Oh, you know what? I know why. You need to be on a night owl schedule. That would explain it. He's definitely heading for a whole lot of mental breaks at this rate. So JD is ready for this surgery. Circadian assistant. And Raptor has an inspired surgery, so let's use that inspiration up. Done. The circadian assistant uh, allows you, uh, slows down your rest fall rate by 20%. Basically, you become tired slower, and therefore you're able to stay awake longer and be more productive while you're up. It has some penalties, of course, where as people are awake longer, they will have maybe more demands. You know, their mood can fall further in a bad situation, whereas when you're sleeping, your mood doesn't change, right? Like, right now, if Bash was up his mood would be increasing, but as he's sleeping, his mood's not not moving at all. That's just the way this works. I'm gonna quickly do a uh, audit. Uh, all of these turrets look nice and repaired. Great. So now, yeah, JD's rest rate will drop slower than everyone else's. And now he's working on Bionic Legs for Unnamed. Pets are hauling. Cauterize, how's your training coming? A nice two-sevenths of the way for hauling. What is the hottest, what is the heat stroke temperature of a gorilla? 185? Okay. So I still have a little bit more time before I have to sequester them inside. Crabs, however, can go up to two, almost 240 Fahrenheit, so they aren't concerned with heat. But gorillas eventually will be. In fact, uh, 285 is... Gorillas can stay outside even more than my guys without their uh, cowboy hats can. So the eclipse is finally over. I highly doubt that, uh, well, all right, let's take a quick look. I was gonna say, I highly doubt that Randy is gonna let me off the hook and not send me a raid this entire time, but that could be true. Maybe I jinxed it. I have no idea. So these stockpiles are nice and full. We got uh, 2,600 steel stocked up for the kill box reloading. That's a lot of steel. I think we're nearly at a point where we're 
storing steel in a regular stockpile. Because there's most of these stacks are full. I think pretty much all the stacks are full now. Raptor, are you gonna find something? Finally? All right, unnamed is asleep. Raptor's gonna run another surgery. Now unnamed has no scar. Bionic leg instead. We're still gonna work on get another bionic leg because everybody in the colony has two bionic legs so that we can outrun our attackers more easily. We're starting to grab slag from over here, which is good. That'll allow us to move through here a little bit faster. And the new guy is up. Just helping to haul. Ooh, so that's not going to be good. He is psychically sensitive. And this is, of course, a psychic drone event. As you can see, his mood is heading to zero. Oh, that's not good at all. The one thing I don't have is harder drugs like Flake and Yayo on hand for mood issues. But it honestly might not be a terrible idea just to keep some of it. It is addictive. Even in one dose, you can become addicted. But, um... That's better than, you know, a mental break where they go try to kill someone. Or something unfortunate like that. If he stays near Raptor, uh, there will be a little bit of a benefit as well. I'm hoping that, uh, oh, JD looks like he's on the rink as well. Hmm. All right, let me risk it. Okay. So high on Yayo. As you can see, the high here uh, reduces pain, tiredness, increases moving. Um... If you take a look at Yayo here, this is why I don't commonly do it. Safe dose interval, never safe. Yep. So there's really no amount of dose. Uh, you only have a 1% chance to become addicted on first dose, but that's still not zero. Whereas with smoke leaf joints, um, you need a minimum tolerance of 15% to have the 2% addiction chance. For Yayo, there is no minimum uh, tolerance addiction chance. Right, so for drugs like uh, tea, beer, and Yayo, there's a 10% or a 25%. So. The way to read this is um, your the, the way to read this is when you recreate with beer um, you you have like a high you know you have the benefit of the drug 
Per dose, it's 15% for beer. Uh, it drops 75% per day, which means that you could, you know, if you drink two beers at once, you have a small chance. Uh, but if you drink a beer like a day, you'll have no chance of an addiction. Unless you have like some pre-existing health condition or you have a, a lower metabolism or something like that. Like, you know, if you're under, if you're an underaged person with a smaller body, the beer won't flush from your system as fast, but... So drugs, the TLDR is essentially drugs that have a new addiction minimum tolerance. Um, you won't get addicted from the first dose. Whereas ones that have a zero tolerance, you get addicted first dose. I know it looks like a, a bit of mumbo jumbo. It's a little confusing and I, I can appreciate that, but that's why uh, a drug like Yeo is just never, never safe. And unfortunately, uh, Raptor is spreading his bad moods around right now. Let me get him some mood-altering drugs and to sit on the throne and relax. Because if he's in a bad mood, it's surefire that everyone else will be as well. So here's the other Bonic Leg for Unnamed. And let's go toss that in now. he's going to be in a bad mood soon. I foresee. Do some operation. And now we're working on healing enhancers for everybody. Good. Unnamed survived it. Double bonic legs. And the psychic droner should be cleared soon. Luckily, uh, Raptor has a burning passion for uh, his work, which will allow Raptor to not have a mental break as easily. Oh, here's a healing answer. Hmm. I'm going to install it in Hippie. Because it's nighttime and she'll just rest off for anesthesia. Medical 16. Awesome. All right, we've got a tantrum. He's going to destroy a good Gorilla Wool Parka. Uh, I'll allow it. I can always make another one. I have other wolves here. So. It sucks. But the catharsis uh, will be ultimately helpful. The new Cauterize is six sevenths done training with Hall. That was far faster than I thought it would be. The uh, Psychic Drone has ended. And that's going to allow someone like uh, Raptor to get in a much better mood. Hippie's on her feet. Our guys are grabbing the last of the slag. No, they're cleaning up the tunnels. Good for them. Man, our colony. I have a lot of hops plants, and we've been going through the hops quickly. I've got to say. Burning through our supply. All that beer. And a Psychic Soothe male. So the exact opposite end of the spectrum. 
Raptor is going to quickly head to max mood and spread that plus 15 around to everybody, which is awesome. In terms of AC, I think we're at sort of peak summer, so I'm going to flick on the remaining coolers that I had ready. I'm also keeping a close eye on my uh, my freezers to make sure I don't need my backup uh, coolers. If we do, we'll need to uh, flip the chimneys, you know, to unroof them. I'll just keep an eye on that. And we have a shuttle down quest. Oh boy. So, a shuttle of United Cities has taken damage looking at place to land. Reapers will attack the crash shuttle site. The commander and civilians, Mackie and two other civilians, must be rescued. After eight hours, the shuttle... Uh, we'll come back to pick up the survivors. I'll need to get them all on board in 12 hours. Um, hmm. I'd like to do this, but something tells me uh, that if I do, I'm going to be attacked by a remarkable amount of Reapers. The reason I think this is because of the honor. It's offering me 12 honor, which is a lot of honor. It is a lot of honor. And I think that the Reapers will show up in a quantity that simply does not make sense. And also, given the temperature here, uh, the civilians, Mackie and the Jacineries, aren't going to survive. Um, that uh, it's too hot. So there's really not a point to attack, ha be attacked by... Uh, I'm going to make up a number. I'm going to guess something like 100 Reapers for only shuttle loot because I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to accept the... or I wouldn't be able to complete the quest because there's really no way that it can keep um, the guests safe from heat stroke. That's just... Not not something that you can easily do. I can't even keep myself safe from heat stroke, so forget keeping strangers safe. It may be time to roof up the ground penetrating scanner and go back to research, given that it is the 4th of August. So... We're switching back over to research, and we are researching skin hardening. Alright, looks to me like my, uh, my rice, uh, bounty is not as hot as it used to be. So I'm going to switch some more plants over to rice. So that we don't run out of food. Rice is, of course, uh, famously labor-intensive. All right, Mr. Gabe. I think we'll be next in line for Healing Enhancer. And we got an Inspired Surgery for a perfect time. Wow, we even have some idleness. I haven't seen idle pawns in quite some time. Left and unnamed, both idle. Uh, well, shoot. All more slag, I guess.
All right, Gabe. One more haul, and I'm going to queue you up for your healing enhancer. Try and install it while he sleeps. There we go. Inspiration used up, but for good cause. And we've got a scattered everywhere mech hive, right as Gabe goes unconscious. All right, I'm gonna have everyone draft and head here. Uh, pets, get inside. There's actually not a lot of them. Are they all centipedes? So that's what I'm thinking. Why would there only be five? Unless they were super strong or something. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I uh, I don't know. That's very, very strange to me. Uh, centipede. All right, so... Haha, ha, they're centipedes. Uh, let's switch guns. Centipede, centipede, centipede. Okay, they're all centipedes. <laughs> uh, someone predicted it a little bit. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, my brawlers are going to go home. These four shooters are going to come down here. Uh, JD, Masterwork, and Hat. Hippie, Excellent, and Hat. Leth, excellent, and hat, unnamed, excellent, and hat. I have better hats. I should have pulled from the, the higher quality stockpile. Uh, Bash. Oh, uh, didn't mean to do that. Glow close. Oh, no, not you, Phoenix. Go close this front door because I'm going to offer them up snipers instead. Let's hope you can get there first. Right, unnamed is coming out. Leth. JD and Hippie. Yeah, I can get there. Okay. Close it. Everybody stay inside. Oh, did you not switch guns? Darn. So now with me as a target, uh, these centipedes will turn around. As you can see, they are retargeting me. And this way, I don't have to use any steel or turrets or any of this nonsense to destroy this mech cluster or uh, these just mech droppers. Because I prefer not to keep having to reload all the darn time. And then life goes on like normal inside the base. It's kind of funny, right? That we got snipers killing uh, elephant-sized mechs out here. And uh, everybody inside the base is just like, oh, okay, you know, just business as usual. I better not go any further south because I'm not going to have any uh, wiggle room. 
Well, unfortunately, not that it's a huge cliffhanger, because of course it's just four more mechs and I can handle that, but this is all the time I have. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll catch you next episode. Farewell, everybody.